unlike the somatic nervous system. In the autonomic nervous system, the neuron whose axon leaves the central nervous system does not arrive at the effector organ. Instead, it synapses with a postganglionic neuron within a ganglion, and it is the second neuron whose axon reaches the effector. Where are these ganglia? Well, it does vary because in the two halves of the autonomic nervous system, there are differences. In the sympathetic division, the ganglia are close to the spinal cord, most of them running alongside the vertebral column, while in the parasympathetic division, the ganglia tend to be at near or inside the effector organs. The majority of these ganglia are the sympathetic chain ganglia, which lie on either side of the vertebral column. They're also known as the paravertebral ganglia. They are connected uh, by axons known as sympathetic trunks or sympathetic chains. And the number of sympathetic chain ganglia can vary, but a common number would be uh, three in the cervical region, 11 in the thoracic, four in the lumbar, four in the sacral, and one in the coccygeal region. The soma of the preganglionic neurons uh, are located in the lateral horns of the spinal cord. These lateral projections exist in the thoracic and lumbar regions, but not, say, in the sacral region. The axons of these neurons then depart through the ventral root, like other motor neurons, and because they have myelin, when they exit the spinal nerve, they form what's known as the white ramus communicans, white because of the myelin giving them a lighter color, and this then projects to the sympathetic chain. The preganglionic axons from this white ramus then synapse with soma, the postganglionic soma, in the ganglion. A ganglion is uh, the name of a location of soma outside the central nervous system. This ganglion could be located at the same level of the spinal cord as uh, the uh, nerve in the white uh, ramus. Um, and then from the postganglionic soma, an unmyelinated postganglionic axon could form the gray ramus communicans, which would rejoin the spinal nerve. It's called gray because without myelin, it has a lighter color. Sometimes the preganglionic axon, instead of uh, uh, synapsing in the ganglion, which is at the same level of the spinal cord, can then travel to nearby spinal cord uh, segments um, uh, so that uh, the ganglion would be uh, just above the level of these preganglionic uh, soma or beneath that level. The preganglionic axon can also pass through the sympathetic chain ganglion and not synapse there with a postganglionic cell. And thus it forms then a different type of nerve, not the paravertebral uh, nerve alongside the vertebral column, but the prevertebral splanchnic nerve anterior to uh, the vertebral column. These splanchnic nerves can be quite complex. They can interweave to form uh, plexuses like uh, the celiac and superior and inferior mesenteric plexuses uh, before uh, the postganglionic uh, axons project to uh, the effector organs. The autonomic innervation of the head consists of preganglionic axons which uh, leave the brain and travel through the ocular motor, facial, and glossopharyngeal nerves to ganglia where they synapse. The postganglionic uh, neurons then have a number of ways to reach effector organs, but many pass through uh, the trigeminal nerve. And the vagus nerve, cranial nerve 10, is extremely important because 80 to 90% of the parasympathetic uh, divisions, fibers, uh, which are going toward the heart, the lungs, the digestive system, etc., travel through the vagus nerve.